Who can save you thousands on a pre-owned car or truck? The Zoomin can! Who can offer over 200 cars and trucks, all makes and models, many with remaining factory warranty in stock for immediate delivery? The Zoomin can! Who can finance your purchase with no cash or trade needed and payments to suit your budget? The Zoomin can! The Zoomin can! What about vans? Mike Duman, the Duman can save you thousands. Compare before you buy. Mike Duman Auto Sales, Suffolk. I've been selling cars for 54 years, you know, since I was 19 years old and going to college. You know, I do my classes in the morning, get in a car, go to work, and sell cars from one to nine. Everybody in here doing okay? Pretty good. good. They taking care of you all right? Yeah. How you doing? I like the interaction with people. Good morning. What are you smiling about? Nobody smiles when they come to the service department. Everything starts with communication. You know, we can't learn without listening. A lot of the mindset that we use here to deliver a car applies not just to cars, but it applies to life as well. Empathy is important. Look who's coming through the door. Come on now, you come on in here. No, I gotta go. No, you ain't going. This is Mr. Harold Falk. Say hello. We're doing a thing for First Citizens. Okay. And this was not planned. I did not call him and tell him to come here. But this is not only one of my better customers, but one of my better friends. Thank you. How long have you been here now? 17. You've been here 17, 17 years. years. And a matter of fact, I think, didn't I sell your parents a car back in the 80s? Yes. I started selling cars to kids that I coached in T-ball when they were five and six years old. And that was a little while back. Now I'm selling those kids' cars, which is really scary because they're in their 40s now. So I'm three generations going on four generations. I was in college and bought a car from him back in 1976. He, well, he was the manager at the dealership and that's when I met him. And then about uh, a few months later, I was going to join the Army, and I was talked into going into car business, and Mike was still the manager there, and that's where I ended up being, and that's when he hired me. So I've been with him pretty much ever since. Since 1972, I've been on my own. You see, when I get older, he gave me a job, and I've been here since. Yeah. I got good trust in him. He's been good to me. The opportunity to help someone who does not have that means to help themselves, does not know the people that they need to contact, to address their issue, that's where I get the most satisfaction from. To be blessed enough to have that opportunity to still be here and still do that is really more than anybody could really ask for. Mike is uh, probably the hardest working person I've ever met and has, has more energy than anybody I've ever met. We just went up to the hospital not that long ago. He had Holly with him, and he stopped and talked to every single person so they could pet his dog. That's probably one of my favorite things about him. Best car to look at is look at the boss's demo, because he's probably driving a pretty nice car, you know, because I can get to choose whatever I want. So he's got that figured out. So his last car was, in fact, my uh, demo. That's right. To me, you know, being in this business, before coming into this business, you find out that uh, a lot of people are not honest. You know, he's been honest with me for the last 24 years. I see the compassion that he has. I see the work ethic that he has. And his work ethic overflows to us. I like to tell a person that will give you the shut off his back if he has to, that he donates to. Thousands and thousands of dollars here in Suffolk to all kinds of, of special needs, and he's not in it for the money. He's in it to help people. And he's one of my best friends. I mean, he's helped me a lot through the years. And that's the type of person that he is. You've got to be a people person. You know, I don't know if I'm a glutton for punishment sometimes, but it's always about people and trying to exceed their expectations, be it on the political level or on the business level. And that's what we try to do each and every day. To me, Mike Duman is the uh, model business person. I first met him in the early 80s when i was frustrated with other dealers we really hit it off on is we were both junior officers it was clear to me that he really 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 liked dogs and when 
I had my dog with me. Next thing I know, my dog's sitting on his desk. What I love about Suffolk the most is the people that live here. We have such a diversity. It's a type of diversity you can't find in very few cities. People always ask me, are you a Republican or a Democrat? Uh, no, I'm not a Democrat. I'm not a Republican. I'm a Suffolkian. That's who I serve. Mike is really self-made, I think, in terms of uh, what uh, he has accomplished in his life. and. Uh, uh, and I don't think, uh, he certainly wasn't uh, born with a silver spoon in his mouth, and, and uh, he, he's uh, overcome things to, to get to where he is today. But by the same token, uh, his spirit was always great, and I think uh, back to people who have great spirit usually accomplish great things. Well, Mike is a guy that, you know, have a lot of confidence. He's a guy that is, uh, that I have learned that is very fair and encouraging. The do man can, and that's, that's him. He loves the city of Suffolk, like many of the previous First Citizens do. He has humor, catches you off guard with it occasionally. He's the hardest working guy I know. I've never met someone that, uh, that works harder. Mike's idea of, of fun is, is mowing his grass. Suffolk Christian Food Bank desperately needed a truck. And so we called Mike, and not only did he find it, he got it for them at a very good price. He made sure it was in great running order when he did it. It was such a wonderful gift to them. I saw his leadership qualities, but he doesn't take control by being aggressive. He takes control by incentivizing people to do the right thing in furtherance of uh, the safety and security of the city at large. Mike's sister, Rhonda, she said, Margie, you're gonna MC pause for the arts with Mike, because you are the only one who's gonna be able to keep him on topic, get him to stop talking, and actually stay on task for the night. So uh, I didn't let Mike know that's what Rhonda said, because he probably would have been a little bit insulted <laughs> that evening. A friend of, of ours, um, was diagnosed with terminal brain cancer. And we were having a time getting him in and out of the vehicle. He's kind of a taller guy. And I was just talking to Mike about it. Mike said, EC, I got a van I just got on the lot that has a wheelchair accessible ramp. He said, I'm gonna go get the guys to go through it, get it right, you come tomorrow and pick that van up and you keep that van as long as you want to to take him back and forth to radiation. And no one would never know that other than, I'm, and I hope he doesn't get upset that I'm telling it today but that's the kind of person Mike do is. The night he graduated from high school, he graduated a year before I did. So he asked me to go to the dance with him after graduation. And I did, and that was the start. And we dated all that summer. It was different and he is different. He was not like anybody I went to school with. We still, we do a lot of things together, but a lot of them are about being the mayor and about work and about dogs, and he's always in for those kinds of things. Even with me working in the car business, going to school, we stayed, I mean, we saw each other all the time. Uh, we were not just dating, but we, you know, we were friends. She confided, confided in me, I confided in her. He doesn't do anything to keep up with the Joneses. That's not what it's about, right? It's all about, um, I think, maximizing his time on the go around and doing for others, leaving it better than he found it. It seems to be like the common thread between the work and the civil service, it all, that theme kind of resounds to it. And that's cool to witness, right? He respects everyone. He's able to communicate with everyone effectively, no matter what walk of life you're from. And, you know, to me, as a human being, as a man, as a person, you know, living here, right, and trying to get along, I think that's the most important thing that anyone can do as a human. And he has done that, I mean, just, there's no words for it. 
His mother and father always had German shepherds, always. And I was the only person that the, one of the German shepherds would allow in the house without growling at, at anyone. So I was elected also because I was younger. Um, I was elected to be his babysitter. So I have to thank Mike, or my kids have to thank Mike, because he was my guinea pig. <laughs> That's true. Mike is passionate about animals, in particular his dogs. And if you were to be at his home during mealtime, his animals would share his food, uh, not in the way you and I would, you know, throw a morsel down. And that always struck me as really dedication to your animals beyond what I would do. I don't think there's a better city in the world than Suffolk. There's a lifestyle for everyone. Our citizens are great. When you look at the number of individuals that want to move to Suffolk, it's because of what we have to offer. I have absolutely no desire to live anywhere else or die anywhere else but right here. Mike, I want to congratulate you. You really deserve it for everything that you do in the city and for everybody in it. It's good when you can do something not expecting nothing back. And this is what I've seen over the years. I'm so glad that I have an opportunity to congratulate you. I can't think of somebody else who is more deserving of this recognition. Your support of the community and your desire to lead the community is just what this uh, award's all about. You worked hard enough and you carry suffering on your sleeve. You work hard and you love suffering. Congratulations. Thank you very much for the assistance that you provided to this community. We appreciate what you do for the city of Suffolk. It's well deserved. Uh, you're a man that's done much for the city and continues to do so. I couldn't be any more pleased than you were selected for first citizen because you truly are. Uh, we've been friends for over 50 years and it's really exciting to, to see you be honored in this way. Mike, I'm so happy to be here with you tonight. This is a very prestigious award. You deserve it on a number of levels. You've been wonderful for many, many years. You've inspired me to do so many things. Um, we really appreciate it and uh, congratulations. Everyone that has been around you um, has benefited by being around you. He deserves everything that he is achieved. So I congratulate him with all my hat and love. Yep. I know his mother and father would be proud of him at this moment. Uh, he's, he's showing the best of what he's inherited and what he brought to this world. Not just what he inherited, but what he brought of himself to this world. Uh, it's just remarkable. And it makes all of us really proud to be part of his life. I told you she can't do it in one sentence. Ah, shush. 